I'm depressed. What's up, gays? Straight Southerners, it's Mally. I'm back with another episode of Sadness Simulator, also known as Lady in Mystery. I am still not okay from last episode. I'm still recovering. I'm still in pain. But today is the day we start the Iljime route, and I'm so excited. So to start this wonderful route, you have to go meet him at the time when he sends you that letter. Obviously, 8 p.m. at Xiong Huso. That is not so safe anymore because he has invaded it. Now, we had two choices here. We could beg him, and then there's pushing him. And I'm angry and sad, and I need to feel better, so I'm shoving you. I said I don't know. I have nothing else to say. Nothing else to live for. The love of my life is... I flourished my arm to get out of him. What? At that moment, I felt something caught on my finger, but my body moved faster before I could even think about it. When I realized it, it was already over. What? What happened? When my hands went past his face, something rolled down. Did I kill him? The black cloth fell down to the ground with a plop. Oh. Electronic piano. I'm not in the mood for Perky. I'm upset. Okay. Oh, it's your face. Wow. It. Oddly enough, adding a mouth doesn't really make a difference. When I looked up, Iljime seemed flustered without a mask. When I saw his face, my head went blank as well. I'm sorry. Am I? I'll just go. Goodbye. Eh. I'm so sorry. I'm going now. Okay. Don't follow. Hey, scholar! Yes? Gosh, you're driving me crazy! Where do you think you're going after seeing my face? Home. Away. Anywhere else. Ooh, what? Wait, what? Oh, Julie's point of view? Why? Okay, missed you. He just said- Oh, we've seen this part already. I just won't ever tell anyone about you. I'll never be involved with you. I promise. How can I trust that? Then what do you want me to do? I kept giving a sigh with my hands tied on my back. I've been tied up for a while, and now my arms started to feel numb. Wait, did you tie me up? I didn't consent to that. How dare you? I mean, he doesn't have to worry about his identity as long as I don't tell anyone. If he's still worried, then he can just stop impersonating Iljime. The situation is so simple, but he makes it so complicated. I don't know why he didn't understand. Ujime said he's going to think about what to do with me and then just kept fiddling with his hair. Then he just pouted with his mouth. There are three kinds of people I don't trust. The first kind is Songdu merchants in Songbang, the second is Gisangs from Gibong, and the third is... Ujime looked up and down at me. Hong Yong Yong Bonds like you! Well, I don't trust scrappy little bandit shits like you. Why did you have to get busted by this Hanyang Yangban you don't trust? Your days are gone now. I think it's a good time for you to retire. What do you gain from robbing other people? Why did you even start this in the first place? What? And why did you do this weird store? Trying to put me in his shoes? But I didn't want to say what he wants me to say. Well, I'm just doing this to make money. No other reasons. Why? Do you rob to make money as well? Iljime flinched his eyebrows. What are you talking about? I'm a righteous person who helps the poor people and punishes corrupted officials. Huh. You're not even the real Iljime anyway. You're just doing this for the attention. If you genuinely just want to help people, you would help them quietly. Not making a scene like this. I don't know if I can say this since we're not that close, but that is so you, you pathetic prick. I looked at Iljime's face a little more for a while. He should have just put his mask back even if he got caught. I have a really good memory, so it's hard for me to forget his face even if I want to when I see it for this long. Iljime didn't look that scary for a guy who messes up with the entire city of Hanyang. His face was slimmer than I thought. He has pale skin with red lips just like Iljime from the novel. Where's the red? Well, he looked much brighter than what I imagined as real Iljime from the novel, but he has quite a pretty face like a girl. You know, I know we're using male pronouns for him for now, but I can't believe that Hisu, who is doing the same thing, can't figure that out. I mean, if you have that pretty face as a guy, then I understand that you would want to impersonate Iljime for at least once. I mean, he has the face for it. What does that mean? 
When I looked into his appearance, I could tell by the sword on his waist and his shoes that he's from a wealthy family, as I thought he would be. Another spoiled rich kid breaking their parents' hearts. Those rich kids seem to have more problems than ungrateful like Shim Chewy. <laughs> Don't let her hear you saying that, Hisu. You're from a wealthy family, right? Why you ask? You shuddered excessively when I talked about making money. So I can tell that you've never made any money. I bet you're that Hanyang Yangban who has a nice heritage. Am I wrong? You must have never mowed a mat, let alone done farming. Ugh. I can see that you can live comfortably without trouble in your wealth. Don't rush on death going in and out of Poshang. Just be nice to your family. Even though you're willing to take that risk if you get caught. Oh, is the baby upset? Is the baby upset? Good, because I'm upset and you deserve to be upset with me. Oh, what? Not just you, but your whole family's life is ruined forever. What the fuck is happening? I was about to say the last sentence, but then I just closed my mouth. Why? Why stop there? I wanted to interrupt more, but the longer you talk, the more weakness you show. Oh, I guess that's fine. No need to tell him that I'm running away for treason. Why would that even... Okay, but Iljime didn't seem to feel anything. He just laughed and made eye contact. Your eyes are closed. Iljime squatted down and put his face in front of me. No. Huh? Okay, I'm Yangban, but why are you talking like an old man when you're a young scholar? So what if I get caught? Then you die. Then I won't get caught. Okay. Well, just because you decided not to get caught doesn't mean that you won't get caught. But I won't get caught. <laughs> okay. That's... Uh, forget it. Never mind. What a weirdo. I can't even guess what he's thinking. I can't talk to him. But Iljime was tilting his head as if he's more frustrated. Hey, scholar, you're really weird. Oh, bitch, you're really weird. People can challenge something because they think positively. Oh, you're one of those. Oh, you're one of those. Ugh. How can anyone be a righteous thief if they think of getting caught first? That's not what I said. Don't you think so? No. Do you always think of worst case scenario first when you do something? Yes, because my entire life has been depressing up until this point. What part of that is not understandable? Yes! I always worried about getting caught or dying first, whatever I do. What's wrong with that? What? What are you saying? Are you doing something illegal too then? Yep, all of the drugs, all of the marriage you want is. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to say it like that. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything anymore. I really don't like you. Then someone knocked on the door of Zheng Huso. Wait, wait, oh, that's probably Wu Sung because Wu Sung said he was looking for me. Given the noise and the voice outside, it must be Wu Sung. Yep. yep. Wu Sung and I both have keys, though. But I guess Il Jime bolted a door. They know the door was locked right away. After finding out the door was bolted, they knocked on the door even harder. Brother, are you in there? Please open the door. I. My hands are literally tied. Il Jime picked his mask on the floor and covered his face quickly. I'd better get going now, scholar. If you do something stupid just because you know my face, you know what's going to happen, right? I don't care anymore. Existence is paid. The day the police have my wanted poster will be the day you die. Go ahead. I have nothing to live for anymore. As soon as Young locked the door, Iljime pushed all the people outside and disappeared like the wind. You didn't even put your... Okay. Th goodbye. Where... Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> wait. 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 <laughs> wait. I'm sorry, when? What? <laughs> when did you... God, that was Wu Sung, and you were all the way... <laughs> <laughs> Always back to you, because my heart belongs to you. Why? 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 Uh, what is happening? Why? How? Alright, I've missed you so much. Just tell me any time if you find your bed uncomfortable. You know, it'd be so much more comfortable with you in it. I know we're doing Iljime's route, but let me have this. <laughs> Leader Kong smiled lightly, touching the blanket. <laughs> I love being here with you. I love that you're here. I love you so much, but how did I get here and when? I didn't hit skip. I didn't hit that at all. What? Wait, wait. What? 
When the Zhang Hunsa door opened, Wu Sang Ju He and Leader Kong were standing in front of the door. And now I'm in her song bone. <laughs> this is not fair. Why are you doing this to me? All three of them got surprised when the moon blew past them as soon as the door opens, and then they all looked at me. That's why we decided to stay in Songbong for a while, because everyone saw Iljime, and they say Iljime pushed Leader Kong on the way out. How dare you push my wife? Oh fucking... If I hated you before... Mm. Okay... Leader Kong freaked out since then. Oh, poor baby. She pressured us all with these outright worries like how did the dangerous thief come after you? It's a big deal, especially since you were hiding in the room avoiding people. And if something happens, there's no way we can prevent it. Oh yes, I do need your protection. Always. And I'm not safe unless you're staying in my bed. Please stay with me. So we got carried along by the atmosphere and followed Leader Kong, but when we actually arrived at Songban, all three of us felt bewildered. Why? There's, there's nothing wrong with this at all. I'm okay with this. Leader Kong wanted to sort out the situation while we're still in bewilderment. She rushed Juhi right away. <laughs> sure that went well. Lady Juhi is a woman, so I'll get you another room. Oh yeah? You don't have to stay with guys even in this place, right? Yeah, cause you... Cause you know I'm a woman, and you love me anyway, and I love you, and just... Uh, my heart hurts. And I got you another room for you too, Wu Sung. Yeah. Which means I have a room to myself, which means uh, you're invited anytime you'd like. You can go check it. Please, leave us alone. Yeah, yeah, go, get out of here, brother. Get get, get out of here. Wu Sung started to get flustered at what Leader Kong said. He has never been apart from me from the last five years when we go to some strange place. But maybe we need to start learning that separation can be good for us because our relationship is not healthy. Go to the other room. Let me have my five minutes with the love of my life before I have to go down the road of Asian Robin Hood. It started with his weird worry that I might be in danger if he doesn't stay close next to me. I am more than safe with Leader Kong. Get out of here. Wu Sung freaked out and asked Leader Kong again. Do, do we all really have to use separate rooms? Yes, we do. Get out of here. I'm afraid the rooms here are quite small. Anyway, Mr. Hisu, lock the door tight at night. You're going to be in big trouble if Leader Kong unlocks your door and sneaks into your room in the middle of the night, right? <laughs> it's like she knows. It's like she knows. I'm leaving the door unlocked again. I don't care. I don't fucking care. We'll see what happens. Juhi said it sarcastically went out of the room first in a sassy way. The only way Juhi knows how to enter and exit. Bye. Wu Sung was standing for a whole... Apparently there's no unit of time there, so a whole nothing. Looking at my eyes and then followed her out. Yeah. Goodbye. After Leader Kong also leaves, the door was closed. Oh, music was very abruptly cut. I'm not taking Juhi's joke seriously, but I got up and bolted the door properly. Oh. Damn it. I tried pulling the cold doorknob for a couple of times to put my ears to the door, listening to Juhi and Wu Sung getting further away. Only then could I breathe properly. My head started spinning. I went up to my bed and got inside the blanket. Leader Kong put blankets and Quing style beds in all of her rooms and guest rooms, but since I'm used to sleeping on the floor, it felt awkward, so I couldn't fall asleep easily. Maybe we should go join her in her room while we still have her on this route. Instead, some disturbing thoughts kept coming across my mind. And a little daughter who ran away alone from a house when all the families were executed for treason five years ago. A family of an accountant in Busopli. Oh, this is long sum. Oh, she hasn't been caught yet either. Oh my god, that interaction happened so long ago, I almost forgot about it. Do you always think of worst case scenario first when you do something? I thought of different voices with my eyes closed and then the voices faded away. Only three days. No, maybe three to four days. But after that, no one's going to talk about the old wanted posters from the countryside. Then I can just go to Zheng Huso, do all kinds of work, investigate, and do chores. Then, then... It's so exhausting. What is so exhausting? What? How? What? Ugh. Hey, Scholar Kim. I think you need to stop yelling every time you see me. I think you need to stop putting your hands on me every time you see me. Get off. I can't help but cover your mouth every time. You could help it. You could, but you won't. God damn it. Well, I guess it's my portion with my girlfriend over. <sighs> Iljime took off his mask like nothing and smiled lightly. When I see him sitting on my bed as if he's my friend, I got a headache, so I shook my head. I got a little worried just to leave it like that and go back home. So I came back and followed you. Ugh. Well, as you can see, I'm clearly safe, so uh, go away. How did you get here? I lowered my voice and asked. 
Then Eljime raised his chin and waved his finger. I could smell the ume flower. Do not leave those here. Don't do that. That's a secret. Oh. Just think that I'm good and swift. No. Do you always have to talk like that? Like you're always demanding. A righteous thief is always domineering to Han Yang Yang Bonds. I don't... You're not my dom. My dom is a few doors down. And I'm alone. With you. He kept mentioning Yangban like even though he is a Yangban himself. I was pouting my lips and Iljime tilted his head and looked at me in the eyes. He got so close that I could feel his breath. Back it up. Back it up. You, your breath smell probably smells like ume flower. But isn't it really interesting? There are three things that I don't trust. You, I heard this already. Yes, you told me. Songbang, Gisang, and Yangban. Yes. And this Songbang is so close to Gisang place. And you are Han Yang Yangban. It's like all three of them combined together in this place. Maybe you should leave then. So imagine how unreliable you might look right now. Don't you think so? Uh-huh. Leave. After that sentence, Iljime laughed at his own words. Anyhow, I got worried on the way home. I told you I wouldn't tell anyone about your face or whatever. No, it's not that. I was looking through the wanted posters I got on the way home, and then I found something strange. Actually, I wasn't myself, and I got the whole bunch of wanted posters like you did. Iljime searched through his pocket and pulled out a bunch of wanted posters. Then he flipped through them with a frown on his face. Then he pulled out one wanted poster. There it is. This is a little girl. Uh-huh. She's been wanted since five years ago, but when I keep looking at her face, she's weirdly familiar. Maybe I have a sister. Ugh. She's a girl, but she looks like some scholar. Iljime reached his hand and grabbed my cheek. Let go. His cold hand flicked my neck and gave me a chill on my back. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop touching my face. I'm going to scream. Get out. I got up and hurriedly removed the bolt from the door, but since my hands were shaky, I couldn't move my fingers properly. I ended up just pulling the doorknob when I felt him approaching from behind. And now I can see that even the way that scholar talks are a little different. Okay. What kind of guy threatens that he would scream? So that my lovely wife will come in here and get me. What do you think? Those you may grab my wrist and turn me around. You should have done it better if you were going to fool me. What? Is this you? I want a poster I've seen for five years fell in front of me. Oh, great. I guess we're telling him the truth now. So, your father got falsely accused of treason? Yep. That's the whole story. I got busted anyway, so I told him everything. I felt like my spirit sank down to the ground after I told him everything roughly. My father died from falsely accused treason. I ran away alone and came to Hanyang. I wanted to clarify the situation, so I disguised myself as a guy and opened the store. When I took off my gat and lied down on my bed, Iljime clicked his tongue. It is true that everyone has their own story, and a definition for reinstatement. In Chosun era, reinstatement didn't only mean pardoning from legal penalty, but also meant recovering their right as well. Once you're reinstated, you are cleared of all the false accusations. You can also get your social status back as well as your wealth that has been confiscated. Great. That must be hard for you, especially with that age. I know that kind of thing a little more than other people. If you are a pleb, even though you can prove everything, you can't be reinstated. I know. So you weren't a Yangban in the first place? Yeah. I knew you'd get along with me too well for Yangban. Why would you call this getting along? You've just been stalking me and putting your hand over your mouth, or my mouth, and tying me up. Ugh. What are you getting along? What are you talking about? You and I are the least compatible people in the world. After I said that, Shinjuhi ran across my mind, and I had to think for a while who was worse. <laughs> no, it's definitely Ilshime. But Ilshime smiled without changing his face a bit. Yeah, because Juhi and I have a banter. You are a pest. So, we both have our big secret. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now we don't have to see each other ever again, and you can feel safe, aren't you, sir? Both of our lives are on each other's hands. What kind of solution is that? I don't like it. It's too risky. How? I have a much better solution, so we'll go with that. Sure, I had a choice. You don't have a choice. Oh. Thanks. What's the better solution, oh mighty one? Listen, we can be friends. How? 
I mean, I don't like that you saw first my face and then tell me your story, but think of it as two friends showing faces and telling stories of their lives. What the fuck? Isn't that touching and nice? No. I mean, it's a bit late, but if we come friends now, then we just think the order mixed up and everything's fine now. I was too exhausted to think of something to say. What life is he living to possibly think of that kind of thing? I was lying down on the side with my head on my pillow, but Iljime tilted his head while sitting down and kept looking at my eyes. So, as a token of our friendship, I'll give you all the wanted poster of you. Thanks, pictures of my own face. Soon, Iljime pulled out five or six more wanted posters of me that I just saw. Why do you have those? I got surprised and got up, and Iljime started pulling out an endless amount of wanted posters and spreading out. He put so many on his clothes that he seemed slimmer after pulling out all the wanted posters. With all the wanted posters fluttering down, Iljime looked down. Okay, I got them all out. Oh, good. I didn't know which one was which, so I just got all the new wanted posters that came to the potion. How generous of you, you fucking bastard. So I'm pretty sure these are all your wanted posters there are. I'll give them all except for one for me as a souvenir. Ew. You're welcome. No. Did you steal all these? You shouldn't stir up the potion like that. You're gonna give Sayan trouble. Hey, scholar, you should say thank you in this situation. No. Gosh, you were so arrogant since the day you make me move. And you were not even a real scholar anyway. You're not even a real Iljime anyway, so... <laughs> you know how Poshang works. The inspector will get the blame for this. You can't just, like... <sighs> oh, now you're worried about me since we're friends? No! I'm worried about Sayun! How sweet! <sighs> I'm not... When I lied down again, Iljime annoyingly giggled. He was sitting on my bed, nodding his feet for a while, and then got up. If you're worried about me, maybe I'm willing to be more careful. Well, I'm not, so uh, get yourself caught. Why suddenly? I feel bad hearing your story. I mean, you just lost your family like that, and it would be devastating for you if you lose your friend you just made as well. I have plenty of friends. I have Juhi, and I have Sayan. I'll be around for you longer. Uh... Who said I agreed to be friends? But then I felt strange at the same time. So, you know how to not get caught? No, I just won't get caught. You aren't reassuring at all. He said the same thing he said earlier in the day and laughed. Gosh, I wasn't sure if he was joking or not. When I sat up, he was already sitting on the windowsill with the window open. I'm really going now. You should take care of those wanted posters on the floor. What, before Yurin sees them? She already knows. She knows everything about me and she loves me. Oh, good. It's the end of the episode. We're on the hell route now. It's been confirmed. Great. Iljime's path has been unlocked. Good. All right. Super short one for today, but that's just because I wanted to get up to the point where the path has been unlocked for sure. And I know I've been sassy and cranky on this entire thing, but I feel like Hisu's in the same spot as me mentally right now, and it's up to Iljime to really fucking woo me. And that'll be interesting to see if that's even possible. I'm still upset about my wife, so I'm going to go snuggle with her. But next episode, we are going full steam ahead on the Iljime route, and we're going to see if he can really sweep me off my feet. Hooray! So thank you so much, whoever happens to be watching this. Like, comment, and subscribe for more of my suffering. And until next time, bye!